Most of Hollywood has portrayed artificial intelligence as this looming threat for humans, but in this video, we'll be looking at the more positive side of AI. You might be familiar with AI tools like ChatGPT and Google's Bard, which are chatbots that you can brainstorm with or just have a casual conversation with. This type of AI tools are called generative AI, which is a type of artificial intelligence technology that can produce text, imagery, audio, and even some pretty impressive fake videos. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? I was curious to see what this AI tool could do, so I told it to make me some DJ logos, and the results were mind-blowing. All these images were created in seconds, and the best part is that it's all free. Before I show you how to create your own logo and add it to Virtual DJ, let's hear how image generation works. Image generation is one of the hottest advancements in recent AI technology, and it's now possible for anyone to create their own realistic images with just a few clicks. If you're not already familiar with image generation, this is the technology where you can feed an AI model a text description or prompt of what you want, and the AI will generate brand new images that match that prompt. So basically, just providing the AI with a description of your image, something like a cat with shades DJing at a party, is all the AI needs to create a completely original image in seconds. There are a lot of platforms that give access to these AI tools, but today we'll focus on PixArt, which is originally an image and video editor that recently added an AI image generator powered by Stable Diffusion. Part of the reason I recommend it is because of its editing capabilities, allowing you to later edit your generated images seamlessly without leaving the platform. I'll guide you through using the PixArt app on Windows. You can find detailed steps for other platforms in the video description. After downloading PixArt from the App Store, navigate to Start Editing. Now select the canvas preset labeled as Logo, which will then lead you to the editing area. From there, locate the Generate with AI feature in the image panel. Now describe the DJ logo you envision. For example, in my case, I want a logo that resembles my YouTube profile icon, so I'll give it the following description. DJ logo of a lion with a vinyl record. Now at this point, you could either pick a style for the logo and click on Generate, or you can leave it blank if you want diversity in the photo style. PixArt will then generate four images at a time for you. You can then download the images to your device, or you can choose to do some editing before saving the image. Now let's explore how to seamlessly integrate your logo into your video mix. Brandon from Virtual DJ will guide us through the process. There are various methods to display your own logo, but the three that I'll showcase here are all very simple. Here's how to do it. First, let's enable the video engine by clicking on the video tab in the center mixer section of the screen. Right click on the main video out preview window and select what video mode out you wish. Now by default, Virtual DJ will display the software logo in the upper right hand corner. Now to remove this, go to the settings area and click on the options tab. Now in the search bar, type in logo and the built-in logo options will appear. In the video logo option, click no to remove the logo. However, as you can see, I am not logged into an account and since I do not have an active pro license, Virtual DJ is prompting me that a pro license is required to change this option. If you need to purchase a pro license, you can do so by clicking. Hold on, Brandon. Are you telling us we need to pay for a license to add a custom logo to Virtual DJ? Not to worry though. I've got a solution that not only bypasses the payment but also allows you to animate your logo. We'll be using Clipchamp, an editing software that I previously showcased for creating a 2D DJ logo. So here is how it works. First ensure you've recorded your video mix beforehand for editing. Now open Clipchamp, click on Create New, and upload your mix and DJ logo to the editing timeline. Position the logo on top of the video in the timeline for optimal display. Now resize and position the logo according to your preferences. For continuous logo display, drag the image to the end of your video mix. Before diving into logo animation, let's add a DJ name under the logo. To do this, use the text option from the side panel. I'll be using the plain text template just so I can have complete control of its customization. Now I can adjust the font and size as I please from the other side of the panel. Another edit worth mentioning is the Blend feature, which can be found on the right side panel under Adjust Colors. This feature allows you to blend the logo into the background video, creating a seamless integration. Now let's add some animation. First, select the object you want to animate, in this case the logo, then use the Effects panel on the right to apply the effect of your choice. I'll be using the Color Shift effect for a dynamic color chain. 
I'll also use the glitch effect for an extra cool factor. You can animate the DJ name too. Drop your comments or any questions you might have. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more DJ tips and tricks. Before our next video, take a look at our virtual DJ 2023 playlist.